there, uh, it's Rob again, and I'm doing another one of my rambling, <laughs> uh, somewhat unorganized uh, and quick and dirty tutorials on how to play uh, Bruce Coburn's Lament called The Whole Night Sky. This song is in open C tuning, so it is, what is that? That's C, G, C, G, C, E. So these are pairs. And then the E is the outliner. Uh, as I'm speaking, uh, the numbering convention on the strings is this is the number one string. Two, three, four, five, six. And uh, I'm not that organized, so I, I may inadvertently say, you know, the G string or the B string or the low E or the high E. But, uh, you know. You, you'll be able to rewind and fast forward this and, and sort of figure it out. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is that Bruce, Bruce writes, well, first of all, uh, I'd like to say something about the songwriting. Uh, this is another one of those like, uh, oh, geez, what's that, what's that one? Uh, uh, Oh, is it I have been on, I have done on stones today? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, well, anyways, uh, this is another one that that has a profoundly uh, minimal number of lyrics, and it, it says a lot. It it says all it needs to say, and in, in very few, there's really only two verses, and then the hook repeats three times, and 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 that's it. Um, but it certainly does work, doesn't it? Uh, one day I walk is the one I was thinking of. That's another one where you know there's there's such it's so compact, it's so wonderfully, wonderfully compact, and 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 I'd like to be able to to do more of that in my songwriting uh, myself because I I tend to go on just as I'm going on now. So anyways, uh, that's one thing that I find really compelling about this song is its its compactness, its brevity, and its power. Um, so the other thing I want to say is just about the uh, uh, the right hand technique. Uh, it's sort of like Let's see if I can get that a little a little better over that way. that's the way I play it and that's that's what I think I'm hearing when Bruce does it so all of that having been said let's get into the actual grips uh, fingering positions uh, the starting uh, the start and you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna write these down uh, in the notes so go ahead and refer to uh, the description of this video and uh, and where I very I'll try to let you know because when I wrote this down for myself, I kind of found some variations. Um, I know there's one chord in particular that I just simply said, eh, now I'm going to do it differently. So anyways, the first thing we're going to start out is in a C and that's going to be capo five on the number five string, capo five on the number three string. So. So these are the two strings you want to hit on five. Whoops. Let's get this back here. There. There. So. And actually, uh, to start with, it, it's, it's better to hit that with your, uh, your ring finger and your pinky. And then you're going to do this little, uh, I don't know what, what, to, what to call it, but you're going to do a little slur. So, so just 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 those two strings between the fourth and the fifth fret. 
So once again. Okay. So yeah, I'm 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 just you got to work out your own finger style. I definitely do not have the patience or the software to do tablature, but that's really it. And then the first chord. Um, I have, I have, I've only seen one really good tablature out there, and they indicate something like uh, fifth fret on the sixth string, fifth fret on the fifth string. Uh, Open on the fourth string, uh, second fret on the third string, and you'll notice that's quite a reach. Um, but I see, I saw, I saw one good video of Bruce doing this uh, at a Kent, Ohio concert. I believe it was Kent, Ohio. It might have been Kent, England, um, where he's really, really just basically hitting his, his fifth fret, sixth string with his pinky. And then basically just blocking the number five string, leaving the fourth string open, second fret, as I said, the third string, and then uh, second string and first string open. So, this is lovely. Uh, we're going to call that an F major seventh. So, again, starting from the C. hit the you're going to do a hammer on on both the fifth and third strings at the second fret so and and then you're going to you're going to hit well you're going to you're going to do the hammer on on the fifth and third and then hit the fourth and or fourth and second open so not too difficult really so Finally, um, you can decide how you want to slide this. Here, I'm going to try to. Is there any way to get you a better angle? That might be might be better. Uh, yeah. Then you're going to slide this from you know from anywhere really. You could I, I slide it generally for all the way from the second fret. So back up to the fifth fret on the fifth and third string so that's basically where you started except of course i uh, just for strength from you know to, to compensate for my mangled left hand um i i use not my pinky and ring fingers i i use the next two down the, the ring finger and the middle finger and then after i do the ah yeah probably better to stick with the for for this one probably better to stick with the the pinky and the ring finger. So, so we're at the F major seventh. So you can see that that the way I'm doing it, just 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 to compensate for my shortcomings, um, I'm, I'm coming with the stronger two fingers, and then I kind of switch over before I have to. To, to do it again but you know you can do it you, you don't have to do it exactly the way bruce does it you don't have to do it exactly the way i do it you should do it the way you do it uh, i'm just showing you how i'm doing it and you can take it from there right so uh you know, i guess the other thing is is that th that's really just that the the intro where he's going from the c to the f major seven from the c to the f major seven so be the intro and and uh, he's not really doing the uh, while he's singing because you know he's trying to I mean well I don't know why he's doing it but in, in my mind it's a good idea to just not 
fry it around so much on the guitar and let the lyrics come through and sink in. So when he, he goes back to doing the C to the F major 7th to the C to the F major 7th while he's singing, it's... They turn their backs I made it too hard Every place they touch me Is a laceration now so, so that one turnaround, um, he's, he's not doing it while he's singing because that would, yeah. I mean, I think that's probably why he's, he's not doing it there because it would distract from, the, from what he's trying to say. So, all right, we've, we've, we've made it through um, the, the first part, uh, I guess the A part, then the B part. So now you're really still going to an F major, well, it's really like an F5. So we're going to call this an F5. So the next time you're going to come to this, you're going to thumb over on the fifth. And then, mm, I know I know, definitely you're going to be putting your ring finger on the fifth on the number one string. So already you can, you can hear that being built. Now, at first I was thinking it was the fifth fret of the third string. Uh, yeah, and you're 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 definitely blocking it. You're not you're not playing the fifth string on this one as well. So, but I'm also finding that if you leave the third string open and hit the fifth fret on the fourth string, that sounds truer to my ear. But I just can't tell and I can't see exactly what he's doing. So when I first started working on this song. I actually started with the first one with the number three string covered and then switched to the... So, yeah, you know, it's up to you. You've got some options there. But anyways, after you do the, you know... Every time they touch me Whoops. Every place they touch me Is a laceration now Sometimes I so so I'm here now. I'm here at that F5. And and once again what that is is thumb over on 5th fret on number 6 string. Um, I am doing it um 5th fret 4th string and 5th fret 1st string. Sometimes the wind comes out of nowhere and knocks you off your feet. That's definitely right. And I, I think this was not quite what was in the other tab that I saw. But this is this is this is what I came up with and I'm sticking with it. So we're gonna call this a s I don't know, a C5 plus seven. So so really, you know, you, you can keep the drone note going. You're definitely not playing uh, sorry, you can keep the drone note going on the um, the number six string. You're definitely not playing or sorry, C C5 add seven in it. Um, you let the drone go on the sixth string, not playing the fifth string, definitely. Open on the fourth. Oh, sorry. Oh, I have this notated incorrectly. All right. Yeah, I better take care of that while I can. So, yeah. So, yeah. What's important is, is that you're hitting the fourth string at the fourth fret. No. Yeah. Fourth string, fourth fret, first string, third fret. And sometimes I'll do a little add on um, where I raise the fourth string from the fourth fret to the fifth fret and back. So. Slide that whole thing down. So that would be like a D minor 11. Uh, again, like you could have the drone going on the sixth string. You're not playing the fifth string. Fourth string, second fret. Third string, second string open. First string, first fret. Okay. 
And then, of course, you just go completely open to a C. See, so we're almost through. So once again, starting from the beginning of the B part. Sometimes the wind comes out of nowhere. And then you go right back to that F major seventh. So that's uh, pinky on the fifth string, or sorry, sixth string, fifth fret. And um, third string, second fret. C my. Now here's the only other chord in the song, I think, kind of. Um, this would be like a G5. So now, now you definitely cannot play the number six string. You, uh, you're going to be, the, the drone string would be the fifth string open. Fourth string, second fret, third string open, second string, second fret, third string, third fret. They fill the hole open. Night sky. And then I do a variation on this one. Uh, we're going back to the F major seventh. Um, in that, except it's going to be a little different. What I do is. Um, my ring finger on the, now this is a reach, uh, especially with this style of guitar, it's got an especially wide neck. Um, uh, ring finger on the fifth fret, block, uh, fifth fret, sixth string, blocking the fifth string. I've got my pinky on the fifth fret on the fourth string, and then third string, second fret, uh, second and first strings open. I don't know why I just like that better for this one. So, sometimes the wind comes out of nowhere and knocks you off your feet. And look, oh God, and look, look, see my tears. And then you go back to the D minor 11th. Uh, once again, that's. Uh, Droning on five strings, uh, fourth string, second fret, third string, second string open. Oops, sorry, I got that wrong. This is the C5 add seven. So, so droning on the second, uh, fifth string. Oh, that's interesting. What am I saying there? Oh no, this is the G5, that's right. So yeah, droning on the fifth string, fourth string, second fret, third string open, second string, second fret, first string, third fret. The whole night sky, back to open, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely stumbling through this today. It's getting a little bit late in the evening for me. Um, and then, oh yeah, there's a little little thing you can do. You can just do a hammer on or however you want to do it. Um, after you do the whole night sky, after you do the tagline. And that's just, uh, it's a hammer on and you can do a pull off. Uh, third string, second fret, first string, first fret.
that's the last thing is is uh, sometimes I don't think even Bruce does it, but just bef- well he, I don't know I can't remember. Um, just before I go to that G five, um, just before singing the whole night sky, I might just go ahead and do that hammer on. Uh, that's throughout the song. So. me questions if I and, and certainly feel free to inform me if I uh, screwed anything up and I'll try to review it and make whatever apologies and corrections I need to in the notes um, I did go ahead as always on these tutorials and put in a virtual tip jar um, I'm sufficiently well off that I'm not worried about my next meal um, but it does help to uh, defray string cost, uh, but you don't have to do it. But if you are feel compelled to do it, by all means, send me a few bucks and, and I'll certainly appreciate it. Um, and more, more importantly than that, uh, please continue to purchase Bruce Coburn's product. Um, and um, uh, no, now I'm gonna forget again, darn it. Uh, Rarities just came out not too long ago. Uh, I. I didn't realize that I'd forgotten to buy it and I just got it yesterday when I was working on this song I realized I didn't have it this song appears on rarities I believe it does um, so I guess rarities was actually released in 2022 so I'm late coming to that story that um, but you know also be aware that uh, you know Bruce has a book out rumors of glory um, there are at least four DVDs out there um, I know at least one of them is still available on Amazon, and, and if you look hard, you can probably find the other three if you're interested. Um, and then, of course, Bruce's manager, Bernie, has a great book out um, that I would recommend. Um, oh, what is that called again? Ah, oh, jeez, where is it? Oh, you can see, ah, it's called True North. Of course it's called True North. <laughs> Um, so that's also uh, a really good read. So, so, you know, anyways, you know, these guys have put so much wonderfulness out in the world. All I'm saying is, is please, uh, you know, buy their stuff and, and continue their revenue stream. Um, so anyways, um, again, I, I know I've gone on for a long time. Thanks again for watching, and um, I hope this helps. <laughs>